for less. It's like everyone's mantra. And can you blame them? Seven-seaters are all the rage. It's as Filipino as the name Luz V. Min. But fuel prices are racing towards the bottom of the ocean, while our fuel efficiency expectations are racing towards the damn moon. Plus, there's a whole lot of people that don't want to spend a mint on a family vehicle. Included. Look, you can't please everyone all the time, but maybe we can make life easier for some potential customers looking for a bit of help in this department. So, on this episode of Behind the Desk, seven-seater, check. Fuel efficiency, check. But priced under 1.4 million Philippine pesos? Well, guess what? Check. Oh, and in case it's missed you, we've got videos on all these cars in the description below. Here's Suzuki Philippines entry into the highly competitive small MPV market, the Suzuki Ortiga Hybrid. Available with GA, GL, and GLX variants, the model lineup comes with a broad range of prices and specifications. As a seven-seater in the Philippines, owners may enjoy a modular seating system that allows for more cargo or passenger seating with space. Coupled with the reliability and fuel economy of Suzuki's vehicles, consumers can enjoy long-term use with much utility, a much-needed trait of an MPV. With the addition of a mild hybrid system, the Ortiga can get up to 12.54 kilometers per liter of fuel consumption, making it an economical choice in the MPV segment. The Nissan Livina is the brand's entry into the seven-seater MPV segment in the Philippines. It sports the brand's latest iteration of its V-Motion design language at the front, but retains similar body lines to that of its twin Mitsubishi Expander. As Nissan and Mitsubishi are in alliance with one another, they share a few similar parts with one another. The Livina is powered by a 1.5-liter gasoline engine that is mated to either a 4-speed automatic or a 5-speed manual gearbox. It is available in three different trim levels, with the E being the only variant to get a manual transmission. The Mitsubishi Expander is a 7-seater small MPV, which was launched by Mitsubishi Motor Philippines Corporation in March of 2018, so it's been a while. But replacing the brand's AUV, the Adventure, the Expander slots in with its dynamic shield design and car-like chassis that promises better overall comfort with coil springs on all four wheels while riding on a good amount of ground clearance. Equipped with a 1.5-liter naturally aspirated four-cylinder gasoline engine with MyVec technology, the Expander promises good returns for fuel economy along with adequate performance. The GAC GN6 is the most affordable seven-seater in the GAC lineup in the Philippines. First launched in 2018 at the Beijing Motor Show, it serves as the brand's seven-seater MPV offering. The GN6 is feature-packed and comes equipped with a powerful and economical turbocharged gasoline engine that pushes out 169 horses and 265 newton meters of torque paired to a six-speed automatic gearbox. The GN6 is unique in that it offers an upscale interior at an affordable price. In addition, the GN6 is one of the few MPVs in its class to offer captain seats in the second row while being an affordable car to purchase. The Honda BRV is HCPI's entry into the competitive, sporty-looking crossover market and also, well, MPV. Although it has the characteristics of a crossover with its bold and beefy exterior. However, its major advantage against the competitors in the crossover class is the number of occupants it can accommodate, seven to be exact. Its recent update also elevated the BRV's appeal to discerning Filipino car buyers. Under the hood of the BRV lies a 1.5 liter iVTEC gasoline engine with Honda Earth Dreams Technology CVT. The Toyota Avanza is a small, multi-purpose vehicle that combines practicality and cost-effectiveness in an affordable package for the Philippines. With this, it's a popular car choice amongst Filipino families because of its flexibility and capabilities as a seven-seater MPV. Its new styling includes less chrome on the front grille and removed strip at the side, along with smaller and sleeker headlamps. The 1.3-liter power plant is capable of producing up to 95 horses and 121 newton meters of torque. More than enough, really. The Toyota Velos is the brand's entry into the seven-seater subcompact crossover SUV segment in the Philippines. Now, it shares much of the same design as its Avanza stablemate, but has a bolder front clip and more advanced safety features. Like its MPV sibling, the Velos, it's powered by a 1.5-liter naturally aspirated gasoline engine that sends power to the front wheels via CVT. It's available 
available in two trim levels and is being marketed by Toyota as an ideal vehicle for young professionals and those starting a family. Like Jack. No, I don't want to start a family, please, no. Goo Goo Gaga. No, I'm not ready. The Hyundai Stargazer is the fifth vehicle to enter the Philippine market under the brand's refreshed lineup from 2022. It marks Hyundai's entry level to the MPV segment with this five to seven seater vehicle. It comes available in three different variants with all grades of the Stargazer available with seven seats. All models are powered by a 1.5 liter gasoline engine that produces 113 horses and 144 newty meters of torque. All variants also come with an IVT as standard. Apple CarPlay and Android Auto capabilities are also standard across the model range. Oh, and just to put it out there, the latest offering of Hyundai, which is the Stargazer X, also falls under 1.4 million Philippine pesos. Believe me when I tell you this, or if you don't, head on over to our website, autodeal.com.ph, or try our app on Android and see that the Stargazer X does fall under 1.4. Thanks for watching, everyone. Stay safe. We'll see you soon. Oh, wait, before I go, big shout out to Baldy for finally reaching 100,000 subscribers. You did it, Bo. Wiki, 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 wiki. Woo! Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. Here we go. No, that's mine. Dude.